Hey, welcome back to another Raised by Wolves Gaming episode. Thank you so much for liking our videos, for subscribing to our channel, and for viewing our videos. We really appreciate it. Today, going to take another look at the Hawkmoon. Haven't used this one in a while. I now have the Carrion Ornament. Hadn't had that one before, and haven't used this since the recent hand cannon nerfs to base range, so I'm interested to see how it plays in the Crucible. Just to review the perks, I'm going to use Accurized Ballistics, Luck in the Chamber, Hammer Forged, and holding aces. Two more random bullets in your magazine deal considerable bonus damage. So that means three out of the 13 in the magazine have a luck in the chamber proc to them, which is, I believe, 33% extra damage. So that's like a 23% chance that you're going to get a luck in the chamber bullet to proc. So not bad for a hand cannon. I have a clash bounty and I have a hand cannon bounty, so I'm going to jump into some clash with the Hawkmoon. Clash. Bravo team. All right, here we go with some clash on Asylum. Hey, while we're here, let's let's take a look at the recoil direction on the Hawk mode. See how that goes way off, like up and to the right. That is what I'm not a big fan of. You're in the lead. Oh no! Of course he has a shotgun. Yeah, play three days of the division and then come back to Destiny, and suddenly you can't aim. It's all right, you don't need to aim to shoulder charge. Where's this? How is he behind me? Okay, well the bad news is this match started like shit. The good news is... Double kill. Whoa, the good news is I still have a grenade. <sighs> Head glitch. You know, I just, I can't. I'm bad. It's really all that it amounts to. I got stuck. Oh! Wait, what? Skip grenade? I didn't even see one of those come out. There we go. Finally got a, I'm dead. Did I really just jump into that? I mean, is that my life now? Yeah, I got stuck because this is destiny. So, let's talk about Destiny 2. Destiny 2 is going to be great because two melees will not kill you. You have to melee someone three times to kill them. Other great things about Destiny 2. Sticky grenades, while in the game, will not outright kill you. I, you know what? I couldn't have timed that shit any better if I wanted to. Go to hell. I hate you. Well, at least I got some heavy. Let's see if this will turn things around for me, because I'm having an awful game. Just getting back into the Destiny flow of things. Uh, not having fun at this point, you know? Just not having fun with it. If you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. There's a kill. Okay, that was a little bit fun. Um... Fifteen, huh? Fifteen damage. There's a kill. Okay. Now. Can we get some kills with the Hawkmoon? That's what we're all here for, right? Just waiting for the comments. Oh, you suck. Get some aim. You're a potato. Yeah, potato these nuts. There we go. How's that for a potato? Ha! Five kill streak. What do you think of that? And two more. That's seven. Our team won. Not that bad. I'm bad, but I'm not that bad. Okay, so let's talk about the Hawk Moon. Can it be good in the right hands? Yes. Are my hands the right ones? Probably not. Uh, it has less range than an IS Luna, less stability than an IS Luna, even though it does have that same 
upward to the right recoil pattern that the Ice Luna has. In the end, uh, even though this is exotic, it just doesn't feel that exotic because it's missing some of the perks that it needs, either range or stability or a combination of both, in order to make this really effective. That being said, I'm going to jump back into some Clash with the good old Hawkmoon and the Carrion Ornament. 